Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Divi Mobile video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to build your Divi Mobile menu using a Divi Mobile plugin. In this video, I'm gonna show you something about how to use the menu style section of Divi Mobile by building your very own one. Definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com if you have any more questions on Divi Mobile and its various features. If you still get stuck, definitely contact our amazing support team and they'll be sure to help you out. So let's get into it. And before we start, I just want to clear up two things that I think you should know. Divi Mobile saves the menu you build to your active theme. Therefore, if you make any changes to your active theme or your child theme or like swapping them out for something else or a different child theme, you'll need to rebuild your menu. The second thing is that due to the way that WordPress has been built, there may be times where your live preview mode does not instantly load, meaning that you might not see the changes immediately. If you find this happening, hit that publish button and reload the page, and then you should see your work. Okay guys, let's get going. Okay, so we have to go to the style section for this part of the tutorial. So we're gonna go to appearance, customize, Divi Mobile, and then menu style. Once we're here, you're gonna see a ton of options like changing background colors, images, text, a lot of different things. But we're gonna do a few things here just to give you an idea of what's possible. For this video, I'm gonna change the background color of my menu to 303030. For menu text, I feel like the color white FFF will look pretty good. And then give it a hover color of EF, EF, EF. I want my font size to be 14 pixels, and I think it would look fantastic if it was left aligned. I'm going to leave the font family as default and not change any things like the bolding or the italics or underlining it or anything like that. But definitely go ahead and play around with these settings and find your perfect look. Okay, now that I've got my menu looking great, I've decided that I also would like to add a sub menu to the products menu item. To do that, I have to go to Appearance and then Menus and add my submenu from here. Now I'm gonna add two custom links for these submenu items. You can go with any name. I'm gonna go with Pots and Pans. The only thing that is important is to drag them over so that there is a submenu item in here and then save your menu. Now we're ready to go check out our handiwork on the front end of the site and hopefully everything is working fine. So I'm just gonna do it from the customizer backend by going to Appearance and Customize and then setting the mobile preview setting. Okay guys, just that quick note again. If your page is not showing a preview reflecting the changes we just made, definitely go ahead and publish that page again and reload it to make sure that those changes do get reflected. The changes are made, but there's a weird goof with WordPress and the way that it was coded that prevents that live preview from showing every time. Now, it's also possible that you need to preview this from a mobile device or any type of device that's not logged into the backend of your WordPress site. So again, this is just something, one of the quirks with WordPress and not actually something relating to Divi Mobile. But yeah, don't stress out, just publish again and you should be fine. Alrighty guys, I hope this deep dive into the menu style section within the Divi Mobile plugin was helpful to you and that everything's working fine. But if anything does pop up, definitely check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com. But if you're still stuck, hit up our support team and they'll be sure to help you out and get you going. Now for this video, that's it from me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.